Most people would probably consider language to be the product of thought. Our brains generate an idea and we express that idea through speech and behavior. But what if this linear progression wasn't always true? What if, inversely, our use of language influenced our thoughts and behaviors? This isn't exactly a new idea. It's something linguists and psychologists have thought about and discussed, or discussed and thought about, for years. But in a recent study, behavioral economist Keith Chen suggests that this relationship between language and thought could be affecting your future retirement. Take a look at this chart. On the left, several nations like Luxembourg, Norway, and Switzerland save a third or more of their GDP a year, while on the right, countries like the US, Portugal, and Greece save less than one-fifth. So what is it about some countries that make them more frugal than others? Chen thinks the answer may be language. The highlighted countries speak futureless languages, meaning they aren't forced to grammatically differentiate between the present and future when speaking. For example, if I were telling you the forecast for tomorrow in English, I'd say, it's going to rain tomorrow. Whereas if I were speaking German, I'd say, morgen regnet es, or tomorrow it rains. In a futured language like English, speakers form a verbal distinction between now and later by saying it's going to, or it will. Chen thinks that speakers who aren't forced to make this separation subconsciously associate the two. And if you think identically about the present and future, you're probably going to make smarter, future-oriented decisions about things like, say, saving money. And the difference can be significant, too. The Chinese, who speak a futureless language, have saved an average of 25% more than Americans over the last 30 years. And this doesn't just go for saving money. Chen also found that speakers of futureless languages make smarter choices when it comes to health. They're 29% more likely to be physically active, 24% less likely to smoke, and 13% less likely to be obese. So if you're trying to beef up your retirement fund or shed a few pounds, maybe try speaking Chinese.